Originally, this video was going to be my 2023 K Beauty empties, but then I realized I was introduced to so many great Korean beauty products this year that I still want to share even though I haven't finished them. So we're about to go through every single Korean beauty product I've used this year and rate it with a simple repurchase or not repurchase. To keep things simple, let's do this in categories from cleanser all the way to sunscreens and retinols. Starting with the first step of every skin routine, cleansers. I do double cleanse and I alternate between an oil and a balm. However, this is made in Japan, so we're gonna put this down for now and focus on this Helmish All Clean Balm. This is a repurchase for me. This was the first ever cleansing balm I've ever used and I love this thing down from the packaging with the little scooper all the way to the way that the product works. It gets my makeup right off. I love the way that it sticks to the skin and the makeup so that it's not dripping everywhere. And then it gives you the opportunity to really rub the product into your skin. Then as you apply water, it becomes a milky consistency. It's a great product all around and definitely does its job well. Hey baby love, welcome back to the fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshana Dupuy and if you're not, uh -huh, you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin, product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every Sunday. And then from my follow-up cleanser, y'all should all be familiar by now, this is the CosRx Advanced Snail Mucin Cleanser. This cleanser is meant to remove impurities and keep your skin moisturized. That is exactly what it does for me. And to be honest, since I've started using this, along with a few of these products, I have not had an eczema flare up on my face. I think it just truly nourishes and moisturizes my skin on a deeper level where I'm not drying out the way that I used to. It cleans my skin, especially after using the balm or the oil and just not strip my face of its natural oils. It's such a silky smooth cleanser and my, and my face always feels smoother and looks brighter after using it. I love this cleanser. I've been using it for about two years now and I don't think I'm going back. I have not tried any other cleanser in a long time and I don't feel like I need to. It's not even a question by the way. This is such a repurchase. I'm keep using it. Next up we have toners. This is the Tony Moly Wonder Ceramide Mochi Toner. I love the price point for this bottle. This thing is 16.9 fluid ounces and it costs $20. Not only does a little go a long way, but this $20 is gonna take you far. It lasts you so long. I stopped using it consistently just because the next toner I introduced has me in a chokehold right now, but this is soothing. It gets your skin hydrated, nourishing. You can layer up with it. It talks about mochi and bouncy like skin. It definitely does that. It's gonna nourish your skin. It's gonna have it super hydrated and just glowy looking. I am stuck in the in-between on if I would repurchase it or not simply because I have found a toner that works better for me, but I really like this toner. It just, the way it provides hydration, the way that it provides hydration, it actually helps retain moisture really well. I do enjoy using it. I think that there's certain people that it would work better for, that they see results faster. Now, simply because I have other toners, I would say I don't need it. That does not mean I don't think you should try this though. It's a really good toner. Now the next two toners are my favorites. One is for my day routine, one is for my night routine, and they are the Pune Kang Yo Essence Toner and the Meta Hill Metacasticide Blemish Pad. I use this one at night just to really prevent acne and fight my way through any blemishes I've been dealing with. And it actually helps with hyperpigmentation as well, which I really am focused on right now. I have noticed a difference in my skin, mainly in texture, but for sure in my dark spots. Check out my transformation video if you wanna see what it was able to do in a week. All around, this blemish pad does not play. And when I use this where I feel like it's a little stronger at night, especially because it has a textured side, so I feel like I have like a little gentle exfoliation going on every night. So I use this for night and make sure to use this in the morning because it packs in the moisture in such a silky soft way. This has a thicker consistency than most like water-based toners or like a micellar water type of liquid consistency. It is not as thick as a serum. It's just in the middle. It's a, I love the texture. And it's just known as a gentle toner that a lot of skin types can use. It, it does not clog my pores and it definitely leaves me with a glowy, hydrated look in the morning that I absolutely love. So these are the two toners that have me in the choke hold. These are both for sure going to be repurchased when they're done highlighting this one. Mainly because of the way that it's been dealing with the texture and hyperpigmentation, I'll be repurchasing this for sure. I guess I'll include this essence into the toner pile. This product right here is such 
a love. I think y'all already know what this is. This is the Cos RX Snail Mucin Power Essence. I can't help but repurchase this product. This is the first product I've ever heard about using snail mucin. When I heard about this is how I was introduced to the cleanser. This is such a hydrating, silky product. It is not one that everyone can use. Usually they say uh, if you can't use it or if you break out because you have allergies to snail mucin. I definitely have never used snail mucin before this product, but I am so happy with it. It focuses on keeping your skin healthy and smooth. That's exactly what it does in my opinion. I love using it over my hydrating toners. You definitely don't want to use this on dry skin. Hydration first and watch how this just gets it a little extra like oof when you use this. After long-term use with this my skin looks higher it looks useful it looks tighter it looks it just looks like it's good you gotta use it to understand what type of result this gives you i have talked about this many times on my channel already just genuinely it's a repurchase every time it's not a necessary step in a routine but it's a great beneficial step you're gonna see genuine hydration and smoothness long-term healthy looking skin for sure let's get into our serums First, this is a viral one. This is the Access Y Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. And I spoke highly of this product. I still stand by it. It's not one that worked fast enough for me in my hyperpigmentation, but there is a reason why people love it. It is gentle. It's a great addition to your routine. It has a bunch of great ingredients in it. Like next mine is squalene. I know a lot of people's skin just all around loves it. It did not work fast enough for me and what I was expecting in terms of results, but I loved how gentle it was. I never was irritated. It gave a glow for sure. Just so to have a product that's focused on fading your dark spots while also giving you glowy, healthy skin, that's, uh, come on, that's a win-win. For me, it is a not repurchasing because it doesn't work fast enough for me. This is the Beauty of Joseon Glow Serum with, with propolis and niacinamide. I really, really wanted to love this serum. Unfortunately, it's a not repurchase for me simply because it gave me a glow. My skin looked so healthy and glowy. You see, like, even right here where the sun's hitting, it looked like that walking out in the sun all the time. But I know there's no difference. I'm like, okay, like, glow serum, it's cute, but, like, what what are you really doing for me? It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't have the impact I was expecting from how highly people talk of the serum. I don't know. I just thought it was going to do a little more, and my dark spots were a lot darker at the time. I didn't feel like it was helping in that sense either. So, in the end, I just didn't feel like it was a necessary step for me. Out of all the serums I could continue using and incorporating, this one didn't excite me. This is the Skin and Lab Vitamin C Brightening Serum. When I first started getting into my skincare and really focusing, I knew that vitamin C was a really highly recommended Vitamin C at the time was highly recommended. I feel like now people don't really recommend it. A lot of people, dermatologists and estheticians say it don't even work. And I have found that to be the case for me. Although you can get a glow and it's good to have incorporate vitamin C into your body, I feel like that's more beneficial to me to make sure I'm having a good vitamin C intake versus vitamin C serums. I just don't see the impact. And that's how I felt about this. Although it's super lightweight, absorbed very quickly and worked well with the rest of my routine, I didn't really notice a difference in my skin when incorporating it. It felt like I was just doing some extra step that I did not need to do. So it's not a repurchase for me. Next category is moisturizers. And I wanna start off strong with this right here. Really quick, if you made this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you're already vibing with your girl. On this channel, we care about having glowing skin and growing our hair all at an affordable price. So if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and comment down below right now. What is the next K-Beauty product I need to try? Then like, subscribe, and keep watching. This is another one that a lot of people should be familiar with. It is the Cos RX Advanced Cell 29 All-in-One Cream. I had my doubts. Everybody was hyping it up so much on TikTok, and I finally tried it, and I see why people hype it up. The texture is so different from anything I've ever used. Definitely highly snail mucin-y. It's gooey. It's sticky. But the way it absorbs into your skin, especially when you have a hydrating routine, is insane. It just melts into the skin. It doesn't have any sticky residue left. It doesn't have a gunky white paleness on the skin. And it doesn't peel for me in the slightest. People actually love using it under their makeup because it does leave your skin with a slight like tackiness those a few minutes after. That could be a really good base for your makeup. I think the whole line really just focuses on smooth, healthy looking skin and it achieves that. Everything I've tried so far, everything I've talked about, including this cream, does that for you. The texture makes this very fun and to know that it actually works with keeping your skin 
moisturize with keeping your string there's a little left here let me show y'all look i'm shaking i'm shaking my finger and it doesn't drop it's like such an interesting product i actually really feel like the snail musin line is something you should try get the mini one if you have to there's another one that i'm just going to keep using especially for the summertime where you just want something nice and light it doesn't it feels so weightless on the skin but you can like see it just hydrate oh my god i can't even try it if you have not it is a really good moisturizer, especially for the summertime. I love it. Next, this is the Skin and Lab Barrier Derm Intensive Cream. This is meant to deeply moisturize by protecting your barrier. And it has little seeds in it. They're called filla seeds. And you can see them, but the way you rub it in and it absorbs, it just melts into the skin. It feels so soft. It's super weightless. It hasn't clogged my pores. I do like using it. I just don't feel like it does that much. I love when my moisturizers not only keep my skin really hydrated and glowy, but it deeply, deeply moisturizes. I kind of want to wake up, not greasy necessarily, but I do want to see that that glow can last throughout the night to the point of me having baby bottom smooth skin. I do like a thicker moisturizer, I do. So I won't be repurchasing this because it, it, that impact I'm looking for isn't there with this for me. Um, but I'm not mad at it. It's a, it's a good product. This is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Water Sleeping Mask. It's cool. I love that it's a sleeping mask literally meant to work for you overnight. The consistency, the gel, like, it literally looks like a water drop, right? Smooth in like nothing. Easy breezy, a little goes a long way. It definitely hydrates the heck out of your skin. But you have to use a moisturizer underneath it so that it has a place to grab the moisture from and not from your skin directly. I feel like I haven't found the best moisturizer to go underneath it because sometimes my skin wakes up a little on the dry side because it's hard to kind of figure out like what's the right blend with it. I'm actually mixed on if this is a repurchase or not and I have time to think about it because I've been using it quite a few times and I still have a good amount of product left. It just, you don't need that much. It definitely has a cooling relief and that is the main reason why I'm really liking it. I just don't know how much it really does for my skin right now. I feel like I have other products that can give me the results that it gives me without having to double up on moisturizer. And right now it's a not repurchase. I do believe that if I find the perfect mixture using this, I would probably run and repurchase it again. I only have two options for this category and I stand by them. We have the Beauty of Josan Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50, as well as the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyla Sika Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50 as well. I already did a comparison video on these. Check it out if you're curious. They just both hit. They are so good. But would I repurchase both? Yes, I would. Duh. No questions asked. Let me tell you how I would use them though, because that's what made them both repurchases. At first, after using up all of these, once I got to this last one, it started clogging my pores. And I thought I was going to have to never repurchase it until I realized this is still going to be repurchased simply for the winter. And this is going to be my, it can work for all year by the way, because it doesn't, it hasn't clogged my pores at all. But mainly for the summer, I'm really loving this. This has a more watery, hydrating, glowy look for me in the summer. Whereas this was a bit too thick for my skin in the summer, especially when I'm sweating and it was making me clog up. But the way that this moisturizes, like this hydrates really nice. But this gives like a deep, smooth moisture to my face that was shocking because it's a sun. Y'all, either way, you're good. Check out the video if you want more details and if you want to see what my experience like really was like with both of these, check out the comparison video. Just know that these are both favorites and aren't going anywhere from my sunscreens. They're bomb. Next, we have chemical exfoliator and retinol just because those are special days that I use them. I have these two right here, which I have also done reviews on. This is the Cos RX Retinol 0.1. It has super vitamin E and panthenol. It, it's meant to smooth and firm the skin. Just giving you that youthful look to your skin. And I think it do that. 
I have really been incorporating the retinol more into my routine. I feel like my skin has just been looking better and better. Tighter, smoother, less texture, less hyperpigmentation. This retinol has been doing me really well. You just need a small amount, smooth it all over your face, and your skin's gonna feel good. Especially in the pore area right here. I feel like my skin has never looked better since I started using this retinol right here. This is the Cosrx Edge Hay 7 Whitehead Power Liquid. This is a product that will last you a long time. Especially because you don't necessarily need to be exfoliating your skin too often. I do it once a week, so it's lasted me for a while. It's formulated with 7% glycolic acid. I used to use the ordinary glycolic acid, which I still use differently. On my face after a while, it started burning me and drying me out. Whereas this somehow keeps my skin moisturized. It is truly a gentle exfoliator. You don't feel it stripping the skin. It doesn't feel super dry on your skin. It's such a lightweight liquid consistency that you might even feel like you're just putting water on your face. It doesn't have a smell. It doesn't have a sting. And when my skin is in a good place, it just adds a little more radiance and softness to my skin. Now I do feel like I have been seeing a bit more blackheads and I don't think I need to go directly to the blackhead version of this, but they have a BHA, AHA version with Cosrx that I do think I wanna try next, just so I have that balance. Um, but if you're dealing with whiteheads, I think this is awesome. Quickly gotta mention it, cause I love it. This Laneige sleeping mask for the lips. Day and night, non-stop, it smells good, it's smooth, it actually stays, I don't know what magic it is. It stays on your lips all night, somehow. Eventually you notice that your lips are able to, without product, still look smooth, not chap up as quick, and just be luscious. Let me put some on so y'all can see. On top the lip gloss, cause y'all gotta see what it gives. You see how the pink is just right? And it look like a little glowy, but like baby pink, Mmm, Laneige though, repurchase every time. This is expensive, but it lasts you a very long time. I wanted to add these in because I have them. And I think it was important to note. I'm gonna call this the eye category because these are both different things, but they're both related to under eye health. This is the I'm from Jengseng Eye Cream. I haven't used an eye cream in years, and then I incorporated this for a little bit, and it does feel really, really smooth. It doesn't sting the eye at all, and it has such a, a just a smooth silkiness as well. I just didn't feel like I know it's a big impact in my under eye area in terms of it looking like really hydrated, really soft. I didn't notice or felt like it did anything different than what my normal facial moisturizers, especially my thicker ones, would do. So this is a not repurchase for me simply because I don't feel like I have under eye struggles and dryness, which is also why this J. June Green Tea Eye Gel Patch, beautiful packaging. Look at the gold in the front and the actual product itself. Let me show you real quick. I got a few left in here. Look at that. just jelly pretty green teeness love how lightweight it is the product holds to it really well and it has like a calming i don't keep these in the fridge i would say if you do deal with like puffy under eyes and redness you might want to keep it in the fridge because then it'll have like an extra cooling effect on its own it does great though you see the way I'm talking and moving and it just stays on my eye? A tip, by the way, especially when you first get it, it might be a little too much extra product in the bottom. Let it sit out for like a minute and then apply it. It won't move. I enjoy it. I just realized it's a waste because I tend to forget to use them. I just, I just be in my own world. But again, I think I may not just be I just may not be ready for eye stuff. My whole eye area, under eye area, I don't have the puffiness or dryness that some may be dealing with, which is why they need an eye patch. I do know a lot of people recommend using eye patches before you get to your makeup routine because it'll make a significant difference in how your under eye makeup looks. So I think it's something cool to incorporate once in a while. I just, I just don't pick it up enough. But you can see that I'm at the bottom. When I first got this, this felt so good to me. I just kept using them and using them and using them. Stay at least 10 minutes away from doing anything else because then if you go too quick and move into the next step, you will experience pilling and you don't need that. I have on one patch, so I'm just gonna apply one to this other side. But y'all can see, look, <clears throat> it's staying. What I'm basically trying to say is if I had a reason for eye patches, this would be something I'm picking up. Next category is face mask. I 
have been loving these face masks. I've been gatekeeping them, to be honest. I have not shared about them. Let me know if you want an in-depth routine and instructional video on how I use them. This is the Isn't Tree Real Mugwort Clay Mask. This is focused on sebum care, and I was dealing with texture, and it clogged pores out of nowhere. It was a new experience for me when I got this, and I did hear that clay, that clay masks are good for sebum production when you have too much going on and need some help. Clay masks are able to detox really well. So I was happy to incorporate this and I'm so happy that I found it. This is the only clay mask I use now because it feels like it gets in there. But when I take it off, super soft. It doesn't feel rough. My skin doesn't feel overly dried out. When I'm applying, I do feel the little exfoliation that it has going on, but never is it to the point of damaging my skin or too rough on the skin. It leaves my skin feeling really soft. I genuinely enjoy using this and knowing that it's focused on my sebum care, I use it once a week. The minute I'm almost done with it, I repurchase a new one. It's it's that girl, this clay mask. Mm. Next, this is the first time I've had a product like this. It's sheet mask, but in a container that I can uh, pull out. This is the Marion May Niacinamide Vitamin C Brightening Mask. I love it. It has 2% niacinamide and vitamin C. It's a daily sheet mask. I don't use them daily, but you can use them as much as you want. You know why? Because the packaging is fire. It comes with tweezers. You open the little compartment and here are the face masks. Usually you gotta buy the little individual packets of face masks. No, you can get a whole little bulk and use them as needed. And I love that. It is so cool. It's the first time I ever had packaging like this that came with tweezers, but the Koreans, it's not the only one I have now because the Koreans are really, they, they smart, they get it. Easy to grab and use as needed. I use it at night, once or twice a week, and it leaves your skin feeling so soothed and refreshed. It feels Access product that stays on your face is non-sticky, non-pilling, non-anything. Like, it just feels so nice on the skin. And to, for it to have niacinamide where that's helping out your acne, the vitamin C that's leaving you bright with brighter, more radiant skin. All around, you can notice I have a trend here. Glowy, radiant, niacinamide. I would definitely repurchase this just because I think a sheet mask is good here and there. Incorporate it because it just leaves your skin. You just let it sit for a little bit and it leaves your skin really hydrated. It's a cool way to have sheet masks at ready for you to use them at home whenever you just have a few minutes to apply one. Um, and again, this is a daily sheet mask. I don't use them daily, but you could. It hasn't clogged my pores or given me any reason to not use it, so I would absolutely repurchase this. I do enjoy using it. And the last thing I wanna highlight, uh, cause we just talked about how it has evolved. They're still here, sticking, I'm smiling, I'm joking, I'm moving. No issues with these eye patches. The last thing I wanna highlight is actually another Cosrx product, and it is the Acne Pimple Master Patch. This is the first time I used the acne patch that I felt like actually stuck to my skin and brought the gunkiness to the top quickly. And if it wasn't ready, after two days of using it, usually the pimple would be ready. It's a hydrocoline patch that absorbs oil and extracts impurities while creating a barrier that protects against outside air into it. it yes. It brings it right on up. If I'm using a pimple patch, this is the one that I'm grabbing. I repurchase when I can. And you can usually find them for like $5. Compared to like, I go on Sephora and I'm like $20 for some pimple patches. Like, I'm not doing that. Easy to use, easy to remove, non-painful. And it gets the job done, especially when you when you already have a white head and you apply it to avoid the picking. Cause that's where I really try to incorporate these patches so that I stop picking at my skin and leading to more acne scars. The poor of the story is, it worked. And let me take this off. Period. You see? You see what I mean? You see that hydration that is there now? Like, I wasn't dry before, so I didn't need it. But if I'm going to use it, I do want something that leaves me like this. Please let me know if you have questions about any of these products and how I use them. If you don't find a review to any of these products, let me know because I will happily review them more in depth for you. I can't wait to continue learning about different Korean beauty products. 2023 has treated me so well with two different products. Let me know if you have other products for me to try or video suggestions. Comment them down below right now because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao!